Hello fellow creators, I'm Theta Catalan. I'm a writer and producer and the founder of Diversity and Cinema Academy. Welcome back to the ultimate do-it-yourself filmmaking adventure. If you've been following my journey, you know I've taken on the challenge to shoot a short film all by myself. And I'm bringing you along for the ride, okay? So remember, that epic short film we've been birthing together all this time? Well, guess what? I'm ready to get some feedback on my screenplay, The Cost of Silence, via a script coverage company. Script coverage is a written analysis and evaluation of a screenplay. It's like a detailed book report of your film script, providing insights on its strengths, weaknesses, and potential for success. So that means it's time to protect my baby, okay? Now, if you haven't seen the first nine episodes of my Shooting a Short Film By Yourself series, hit pause, catch up, and then join us. Today, we cracking the code on shielding your short film like a pro. So far in this series, we've brainstormed, we've written, prepped, and even survived the research jungle. Now it's time to build a legal fortress around your cinematic masterpiece. We've all been there, pouring our heart and soul into a short film only to wonder, what if someone steals my idea? But fear not, my friends. <laughs> this episode is your roadmap to legal clarity and cinematic security. So get ready to unlock the secrets of copyright and writers guild of america registration also known as the wga i'll explain these legal terms and show you how they protect your creative baby next we'll conquer the registration process i'll walk you through the steps from copyright forms to wga uploads making sure your film is legally protected lastly i'll share bonus tips we'll go beyond paperwork and share essential strategies to secure your film and safeguard your intellectual property by the end of this episode you'll be equipped with the knowledge and confidence to transform your short film into a legally protected masterpiece so you ready to conquer the world <laughs> well then grab your notebooks sharpen your legal pencils and get ready to lock it down oh and by the way i have a great notebook on Amazon for filmmakers is sleek and professional. Plus it has quotes to keep you inspired. So I'll provide a link below. <laughs> now, before we dive in, do me a solid, smash that like button, okay? Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified every time I drop a new episode. Now, let's get into it. Have you heard of that sinking feeling when someone claims your idea is their own? Yeah, <laughs> not cool, right? That's why copyright and WGA registrations are your legal besties. Protecting your intellectual property like fierce copyright assassins, guarding a treasure trove of creativity. Before we get into copyright and WGA registrations, let's clear something up. Ideas themselves aren't protected. That means anyone could have the same spark of inspiration as you. But here's the kicker. It's how you take that idea and turn it into a unique creation that matters. Think of your short film as a beautifully wrapped present. The idea is the sparkly paper and ribbon, but the real magic lies inside the story, the characters, the way you tell it. That's where copyright and WGA registration come in, safeguarding the unique expression of your idea. So how do you turn that spark into a protected masterpiece? It's all about development and expression. Breathe life into your characters, craft a captivating plot, and pour your artistic vision onto the screen. The more you develop and express your idea, the more distinct your film becomes, and the stronger your legal protection through copyright and WGA registration. Remember, copyright protects the original expression of your ideas, not just the bare bones of the concept. So write detailed outlines, flesh out your characters, and film your vision with your unique cinematic flair. That's the secret sauce that makes your short film truly yours, legally and creatively. Now, I get it. Your short film is your baby. You poured your heart and soul into it. The characters, the plot twists, the late night editing sessions. Copyright and WGA registrations are like your official birth certificates, proving your ownership and deterring any shady creators. Mm -hmm. Now, besides registering your work, you need to make sure all of your legal paperwork is in order. Think of legal contracts as prenups for your film. They define ownership, collaboration agreements, and distribution rights. 
And the certificate of authorship is like your film's self security card, proving you're the creative mastermind behind it. Now, let's talk about the superheroes of protection copyright and the Writers Guild of America. Copyright is the heavyweight, the legal muscle that gives you the power of federal protection. It's recognized worldwide and can be a significant deterrent against anyone trying to infringe on your work. It's the first line of defense for many filmmakers and creators. But let's not overlook our sidekick, the Writers Guild of America. Registering with the WGA adds an extra layer of protection, especially in the entertainment industry. It's like having a buddy system, an industry recognized witness that says, yes, this works is yours, okay? <laughs> It's a record of your screenplay with the Writers Guild of America, proving your authorship and giving you access to their legal resources and benefits. Now, should you choose one or both? Well, it depends on your specific needs and circumstances. Copyright is broader and generally more robust legally. Still, the WGA registration can be valuable, especially if you're diving deep into the film and TV industry and want that added layer of access to legal resources and benefits. Some creators opt for both. So my fellow creators, it's not necessarily a battle between the two, but rather a strategic alliance. Consider your goals, the nature of your work, and where you see yourself in the industry. Whether it's copyright, WGA, or both, having some form of protection is crucial for your creative legacy. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of protecting your screenplay with copyright. It's a crucial step to ensure your work is legally recognized and protected. Here are the steps to register your screenplay for copyright. First, head over to the U.S. Copyright Office website. This is your go-to hub for all things copyright registration. Create an account if you don't have one already. It's a simple process that will allow you to manage your copyright submissions. Navigate to the online registration portal and complete the application. You'll need to provide details about your work, including the title, authorship, and creation date. Upload a digital copy of your screenplay. This is the heart of your creation, and it's what you're protecting through copyright. There is a $45 fee for a single single author registering their screenplay electronically, so be prepared to make a payment. The investment is worth the protection it provides. Once submitted, you'll receive a confirmation from the Copyright Office. This confirms that your screenplay is now officially registered and protected under copyright law. Now, it takes several weeks to get the hard copy in the mail. Of course, this is not rocket science. Just follow the instructions and your film will be copyright protected like Fort Knox. Remember, the process might differ slightly depending on your location, so do your research. Now, for our Writers Guild warriors, registering your screenplay with the Writers Guild of America is a breeze. Here are the steps. Head to the Writers Guild of America website. They've got a user-friendly online registration system. Similar to the copyright process, create an account on the WGA website. This account will be your portal to registering and managing your screenplays. Fill out the online registration form. This includes details about your screenplay, such as the title, authorship, and other relevant information. Then you're gonna upload your digital copy of your screenplay to the WGA Secure Database. This step ensures your work is time stamped and recognized by the guild. There is a fee for WGA registration as well, so you're gonna pay the required $20 fee for non-members to complete the registration process. Once the process is complete, you'll be issued a unique registration number. This number serves as your screenplay's identity within the WGA database. The hard copy will take a few weeks to arrive via a mail carrier. Deadlines and fees may vary, so check the WGA website for the latest details. Remember, every step you take towards registration is a step towards securing your creative ownership. Now, here's a bonus. Let's talk about protecting beyond the paperwork. Copyright and WGA registrations are your legal shield, but remember, vigilance is key. Keep backups of your film and screenplay, secure your files with strong passwords, and always credit your collaborators properly. Think of it as building a multi-layered security system for your cinematic masterpiece. Also, add the copyright logo and date on all copyrighted material. Well, that's a wrap on today's episode. You've now equipped yourself with the knowledge to safeguard your creative babies. If you made it this far in the episode, share this affirmation. Script secured, dreams protected, 
action speaks. Stay tuned for more adventures in my shooting a short film by yourself series. And if any of this info is blowing your mind, hit the like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and of course, subscribe. Now, go out there, share your story with the world, and let your creativity shine. And I'll see you in the next video.